right, guys. It's Light Over Darkness 33, and I'm excited today. I'm excited because today is a day of gratitude. Grateful for our past, grateful for our future. And why are we grateful? Because we're going to a higher life of success and victory. To get to your true self, my true self. And that's what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy the video. Like the video. Share the video. And subscribe to the videos. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that Light Over Darkness 33 channel is on, it's up, we're running, and we're telling you what God gives us to give. So I'm giving you what God is giving me to give you. Let's begin. Gratitude. Gratitude to me mean being grateful for where I've been through what I've been through and you being grateful for what you've been through. So if we're both grateful and we learn from those lessons, guess what? Then God will be pleased with us in our gratitude. He knows that we're happy that we learned those lessons and we don't want to go through them again. Because we're, we're at a place where we're using those lessons to take us to a different place in life. Now, we're happy where we're going. Where are you going in life? Are you going to your next phase? I'm always messing with my hair, I know. <laughs> are you going to your next phase? Are you going to just a little over your next fate? Are you going to the top? Me, I'm going to the top because I've learned a lot of lessons. I learned a lot of lessons about being grateful for where I live, being grateful for having food to eat, being grateful to wake up the next morning, being grateful for not having a second stroke, being grateful for having a way to get around. Being grateful for finance. So I'm grateful for those things. Let me know in the comments some of the things that you're grateful for. And let's compare notes. Now, um, in my notes I have what you see in your mind's eye is what you can become. What you see in your mind's eye is what you can become. Now, next, sorry. <laughs> now, um, when you close your eyes and you imagine your life, what is it that you see? Do you see yourself in a different home? Do you see yourself at a different job? Do you see yourself maybe at a business of your own? Something you created. Now, in these visions that we're looking at, when we're closing our eyes and imagining what we can be, I want you to make them vibrant. Don't just see them in black and white. Make them real. Imagine yourself doing what you really want to do in life. See yourself as you want to see yourself. Remember the clothes that you have on in this vision. Remember the area you're in on this vision. If it's in a car, remember the type of car it is. Is this a home? Look for details. The details are the most important thing. 
the details. So make sure that your details are clear. And stay with this vision as long as you can. Even if you fall asleep, that's even better. Because if you fall asleep while you're visualizing, then what will happen is in your you'll dream about it. That means it's in your mind. So, and we know from our teaching that if we can think a thing, it can be a thing. If you can think it, in your head. If you can speak it in your mouth. And if you can feel it, get happy about it in your heart. That creates a thing. You're creating. I'm not saying we're just like God. I'm just saying we're following his principle. God created the earth. He said, he thought about what he wanted to do. Then he said, let there be. Let there be light. Let there be land. Let there be animals. Let there be men. Let there be. So just do that. After you thought about it in your mind, speak it out your mouth. Let me be a business owner doing this, that, and the other. Let me have this amount of money. Let it this money be in my life, be in my hand, be in my bank account. Let my health be perfect. Let me be healed. Let me have more children. Let me have a husband. Let me have, you're asking, let there be a husband in my my life. You're saying it is. Let there be. Let there be. So if you're saying, let me have, as I said just a few minutes ago, you're asking. But if you say, let there be, you're creating. So be the creator that you are. This is your life. God gave you a life for you to follow his lead. For you to take care of the creations that he created and to create more things of your own. To create your own creations. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see what else I have have to say. Okay. After we spoke it into existence. And we feel it. Then I want you to hold out your hands. And receive it. Get into receive mode. Even say that. I receive. What I've, had, what I've stated is in my life. Whatever you stated it was, I receive the home that I created in my mind. I, cre- I receive it. So, let's re- regroup. We're going to see it in our mind's eye. That's in our mind's eye. So we're going to close our eyes and we're going to think about that thing. And while we're thinking about it, we're going to breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Do that about 10 times while you're thinking about what it is you're creating. After you've done that, then what I want you to do next is to speak it. Let there be whatever it is in my life. Let there be this to come into me. However you want to say it. You got to say your own words. You don't have to say my words verbatim. Say it your own way. Just say let there be in front of it. And after you've done that, then I want you to get happy about it. Like you see it coming towards you. Feel that energy, 
building up, building up, building up, building up. And then after that, you say, it is done. It's done. I have it. It's mine. Claim it. Back in the day, we used to say name it and claim it. So this is the stretching that a little father. You're naming it in your mind's eye. And soon I'm going to do a video on opening the third eye. You're seeing this in your mind's eye. So that's claiming it. You're speaking it into existence with your tongue that God gave you. And then you're claiming it by stating it with open hands of receiving. Then you're being grateful for it. Be grateful for what's come in your life. Be grateful knowing that God can and will do anything. God, he's the greatest creator. You are just a part of him. Just like you're a part of your, fam your family, your parents. You're a part of God first. When you're in your mother's womb, God created you and put you in there. Yes, your father was a part of it. Your mom was a part of it. But above all, God allowed those things to come together and create you. And he did not create you to just come here and live a mediocre life, work for somebody else, building their dream, and letting yours go by the wayside. Don't be a wayside dreamer. Dream your own dreams. You have the ability to dream. You have ability to create. You have the ability to maintain. So I'm telling you that you can do these things because by faith, all things are possible. You can do this. You can do it in your life. And then once you learn, you can teach others how to help them with their lives. You know, it's hard when you've worked 30 years in the same profession and in those 30 years you gave you didn't do anything that you wanted to do that's sad that makes me sad it made me so sad yesterday I was in tears thinking about not only my life but thinking about the lives of the many other people who are out there who've done the same thing, working hard for a paycheck to pay just to have a regular life. When God gave them a seed, just like he gave the boss a seed, he gave you a seed, a seed where you can take your vision and bring it to fruition. You can make it happen. Whatever it is out there that you have a desire to do, I ask you to do it. Take the time and learn more about it. Take the time and make it real. Because I'll tell you something else. If you can think it, it can happen. A thought came to people who created homes, who created buildings, who created businesses, who created stocks and bonds, that's what I was trying to say, who created everything that's out there besides the land and the animals and us. God did that. But he thought at first. And then he said, let us make. Let it be. Let, let, let. So today I pray the prayer over you to let you be inspired. 
to let you be encouraged and to let you be grat- grat- grateful. That's the word. Let you be grateful knowing that it's going to happen for you. No more tears. No more sadness. No more loneliness. Nothing but joy, peace, love, understanding. As I always tell you, every time I'm on here, I want you to know I have your back. I have your back, I believe, with you and for you. And I pray for each and every one of you. I love you guys. I love you so much. I want you to all keep me in your prayers. And I'll keep you in mind. Won't you take care now? Bye.